When it comes to taking measurements, you want to ensure that your measurements are meaningful, valid, and correct. You want reliable measurements for your work. In this video, with this arbitrarily chosen bunch of instruments that measure temperature, length, and pressure, I will explain some of the most basic principles that affect all measurements. The first principle is the principle of finiteness or disconnectedness. You as a human being in front of the TV or computer are finite. Your existence and your being ends where your skin ends, at the boundary layer of your skin where you have your last sensors embedded and then wired to your brain, that's where you end. Beyond that you have nothing. You are you, and this piece of bolt is this piece of bolt. You have nothing in common. If you want to learn anything about the properties of this bolt, its length, its weight, its color, its reflectiveness, its material composition, its thread pitch, the kind of screwdriver it takes, its temperature, you're going to have to go out there with measuring instruments and investigate information is not gonna leap across space and time and just appear in your head not going to happen this would be the meaning of finiteness or disconnectedness by definition every measurement when you go out to investigate is a comparison in terms of grammar comparisons are made with adjectives or comparative forms of adjectives and could involve the phrases faster than, slower than, more than, less than, hotter than, colder than, those kind of phrases. These comparisons are not, do not involve necessarily quantities. You can measure without numbers. In fact, you do it on a daily basis. For example, you might say the sentence when you walk out there first thing in the morning Ooh boy, it's nippy out here. You just made a comparison. The air's temperature is colder than expected. These, co these comparisons can be made by babies uh, without full use of language or without a knowledge of numbers. Uh, babies can uh, Babies can cry and uh, make a fit if the temperature of the bath water is hotter than expected. Animals hunting in packs, they can establish quantities. They can learn if they are outnumbered or not. And on this Garfield ruler I have this memory jogger, a cheetah chasing its prey. You can learn whether its prey is faster than themselves or slower than themselves. A comparison and a measurement again, taken by an animal. So all measurements are comparisons. And all measurements are estimates. Whether it involves numbers or it doesn't involve numbers, they are estimates. And this is principle number three. And in measurement, you're working to reduce the degree of uncertainty. Let me illustrate here. If you have this bolt and you want to establish its diameter, you might put it against a measurement scale and say, well, it's skinnier than a centimeter thinner than a centimeter or less than a centimeter is a comparison by definition. If you want to have a more precise measurement and reduce the degree of uncertainty in it, you can take it to a millimeter scale and place the bolt against the millimeter scale and make your comparison this way and you can see that the diameter of the bolt is 
somewhat less than five millimeters definitely more than four millimeters there so it's between four and five millimeters so now we went from a one centimeter precision to a so many millimeter precision but that's not the end of it you can still have a more precise reading if you put it into a micrometer that has a precision of one ten thousandth of an inch you can further reduce the degree of uncertainty by taking this measurement and you can learn that its diameter is 4.78 millimeters after the metric conversion so any measurement is an estimate any measurement will have a degree of uncertainty to it because length as the property of matter for example intrinsic to this bolt is really not possible to establish in terms of uh, in terms of absolutes you are a finite human being you cannot measure absolutely you cannot establish its length absolutely you cannot measure the air's temperature absolutely any kind of reading that you take will be an estimation okay those are the basic principles the three basic principles that affect measurements again your finiteness and uh, that measurements are estimates and comparisons and that any measurement will still have with it a degree of uncertainty in my next video I will show you how mathematics helps reduce this degree of uncertainty